Hey guys, I am so excited for today's guest. I have the amazing online super coach, AJ Merzad. AJ has built a multi million dollar online coaching business and has been helping thousands of entrepreneurs scale their business to six and seven figures. So I'm super excited to have him on the show. And I know you guys are going to get so much out of this. So welcome, AJ. Hey, thank you, Stephanie. It's an honor being on your show. Appreciate you having me. So <laughs> I have so many things that I want to ask you. Um, not even sure where to start really, but what, what really helped you go from like when, when you first started out to like really taking quantum leaps in your business and getting to that six and seven figure mark? Like what was, it? I know there's a lot of mindset and strategy involved in this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can go back into why it all started, where it all started. So I came to this country when I was a year old and we were refugees from a war torn country. My parents were immigrants and we grew up very, very poor. You know, we didn't have much. Uh, my dad, he basically had a career in an old country, but here he didn't have much. Same with my mom. So we struggled financially. We we're on public assistance. And for as long as I remember, we were poor, not enough money to pay the bills or to get food. And over time I had uh, you know, three younger brothers. So imagine it's five people living in a one bedroom apartment and I'm the oldest out of all the siblings. So for a big part of my life, I had a lot of fears about finances because I would hear my parents fighting over money and talking about we can't have food for the kids, we can't pay the bills and I was scared. I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna be homeless. Uh, I just had to deal with a lot of financial insecurity. And over time, I just had this goal, even at a young age, that I want to become wealthy. I want to be able to provide for my family. So as a young kid, we'd watch these uh, TV shows. And I was an 80s baby. And it was a show called The Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And I was so fascinated seeing these wealthy people. And I just was like, I want to be like that, right? When you watch TV, or MTV Cribs, and all these shows about the rich and famous, you want to have that because like, I don't want to see my family being poor. I want to create financial abundance for them. So that was kind of like the genesis of me wanting to become successful. And then it is create this inquiry at a young age on like, how am I going to become wealthy so I can provide for my family? Wow. So you have to have that burning desire <laughs> to fuel you for sure. Yeah. I like the biggest yeah, thing. You know, your burning desire, like the big why, you know? And I saw early on, it was like growing up very poor, being on welfare, having, you know, public assistance. It was embarrassing going to the supermarket. My mom had food stamps and it was like, shit, I don't want my family to ever be like this ever again. Yeah, so on your journey as an entrepreneur, like what are some of the, the biggest struggles that you've overcome to, that you've really had to like break through yeah, so I think growing up having that financial limiting belief, it limited me because when I first started my business was back in uh, 2007, I was scared to spend money, you know? So I started off as a personal trainer and I was working in a corporate gym and then I branched off and I built my own personal training practice. And like any business, you gotta spend money to make money and I was scared. I think it was Meek Mill that said, scared money, don't make no money. So I was like hoarding money. I was like saving it at the time. My big dream was to make $3,000 a month and I would make 3000 a month. I was like holding the money and it was weird. I'd have a good month and then a bad month. And then a year after I started my business, we had this uh, huge financial collapse and I pretty much lost all my clients. And at the time I didn't know how to market myself. It was horrible because I went from making 3000 a month, which was my dream to get by to some months making a thousand, some months less than a thousand, and I don't know what to do. I didn't have a website and I don't understand marketing. So I wasn't spending money to grow my business per se. Mm. And so what, so what have you learned from marketing yourself differently from that until now, like to get to where you are now, you've definitely made some 
huge leaps forward over the years. I know you've been doing this for a while. Um, so I'm curious, like what, what really changed for you in the marketing game? Yeah. So great question. I think for me, the biggest shift was hiring a coach, you know, because I knew I had to become a better marketer because I didn't have a lot of visibility. And I was reading all these books about marketing and just how to brand yourself. And I was reading like 20, 30 books a year on business and marketing. And I was not getting anywhere, spinning my wheels because a lot of this marketing was not really created for the small business owner. It was for like big brands or like brick and mortars. Like it was, it was so vague, you know? And then I had a friend who at the time I was personal training with him at a uh, Bally's Fitness. That was the corporate gym I was working at. And all of a sudden he had a boot camp and he started to make serious money. I was like, how the hell did you go from one-on-one -on -one training to one-to-many training? And he told me about this interesting thing to look at. It was called direct response marketing. So I started Googling direct response marketing, looked up fitness marketing, and all of a sudden all these different people were coming out. And I was like, inspired because there were these personal trainers that are doing like six figures. At the time, I was making one to 2,000, if I was lucky, 3,000 a month. And for someone to make eight to 10,000, I was like, oh my God, they're, they're living the dream. So there was this one guy I started following, his name is Chris McCombs, and he had this marketing blog, and he was teaching personal trainers how to market themselves. And he had an online fitness business. So I had to take a big, big chance on him because I was getting a lot of good insight from his blogs and his videos. But I wanted to hire him as a coach. And at the time, I never hired a coach before. And when I had a call with him, he was like, hey, Jay, you know, to coach with me, the investment is $5,000. And at the time, I was not even making 5000 a month. So for him to now ask me for that money, it was like two, three months of hard work, hustling, mm -hmm. getting about 5 a.m., work till 9 p.m., bust my ass, and then make a big decision that night where I literally just, just went with my gut and said, all right, well, I'm going to invest this money, and if I lose it, I'm screwed because I don't want to look like an idiot, <clears throat> spend this money and not show up in the right way, let this guy down, let my guy and let myself down. And all at the same time, just waste it. So I said, it's do or die at this point. I got to make this work. And I remember that night I couldn't go to sleep. I put the money in my credit card. I didn't have it. I went deeper in debt. And I was like, oh my God, it was like a Hail Mary. I have to make this work. And then from there, we had our first coaching call shortly after. And I remember on that call, it was really, really uh, not what I expected, you know? Because I was like, dude, uh, I've been reading a lot of marketing books. I know what I need to do. This is where I need my business to go. I need to make $10,000 a month. I want to be at six figures. Here's my game plan. He's like, AJ, 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 chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Forget everything you know. Forget everything you've learned. Just do these three things. Take action on these three things. And then we have another call to follow up. And I'm like, that's it, just these three things. And he's like, trust me, just do these three things and we'll talk again. So like a madman, I implemented, like my life depended on it. Like the next, as soon as I got off the phone, I started implementing those three things and I started getting some traction. And then another call did some more. And then next thing I knew, literally within a few weeks time, I made that $5,000 back and I was blown away, you know, because I realized something on that day. In the past, I was reading all these books, watching all these videos, buying all these courses, but I was overwhelming myself. I was getting into analysis paralysis. <laughs> it was not until I realized that the way that I become successful is by hiring a coach because on those calls, he simplified my life. He told me what to do. And I have this big thing about follow through. Like I don't want to let people down. So I don't want to let him down. So I worked 10 times harder. He brought out the best of me. And I realized that in this short amount of time, I made a return on my investment. So at that point, this was in 2009, Mm -hmm. Two years after starting my business, I was like, man, I should have just hired a coach from day one. Mm -hmm. It would have saved me so much time and energy. And that's when I realized like now I could use the power of a coach to make more money and go get over my own limiting beliefs. Yeah, that's really powerful. I mean, it's, it's not even like, of course, you learn a lot from hiring a coach, but just like how you said, just the act of investing and like putting more skin in the game, that in and of itself makes you way more accountable and definitely take a lot more action. So. Yeah, that, that, that's another good point, you know, because I knew that let's say if I want to make 10,000 a month, I had to sell higher end packages and it was just the energetic alignment of giving him $5,000. I now could have people invest higher amounts than me because mm -hmm. my standard was raised, right? 
I'd be out of integrity if I didn't hire a coach. If I just read books and spent two to three dollars on my own investment, then I'm gonna ask someone else to give me a thousand bucks. That's out of alignment. So once you start to invest in yourself, you really find that people come into your path that want to invest in you at the same level. Yeah, that's a really good point. And it's so true. And <clears throat> like, so for people just starting out, I mean, what, what do you recommend for people just starting out? I say like, <laughs> invest in courses and stuff to get started and build yourself up so you can, you know, hire a coach. But there's really like, that's the fastest way to success is having a mentor. I agree. I agree. I mean, in an ideal situation, go all out, hire a mentor, right? Like you do great work for your coaching clients. And obviously there's a level of customization. You hold them super high accountable. And at the same time, they buy speed, you know? Instead of having to watch hours and hours of content, they could pay you a lot of money and get that in lightning seconds, you tell them the exact action step, right? So I would say hiring a mentor, hiring a coach is the biggest mistake I made waiting so long and going back in time, I would do it a lot earlier. Even if I don't have the money, I'll put it on my credit card. But let's just say you are different and you don't wanna hire a coach, you wanna learn this stuff on your own, then the next would be to hire, buy a course, buy a program, right? Because obviously, on a higher level of investment is a coach or a mentor. Then you have, you know, like a mastermind, group coaching. Then you have the level of getting a course, some type of automated video that you can watch on your own. And then below that is just books and free content and podcasts, you know? So one thing I realized is like the more money you make, the less time you have. So now I'm in a position where I only hire coaches. I'm in different masterminds. I have mentors. I like the human interaction. And recently there was this book that I read and I actually didn't read the book. I listened to the audio book, but I was so fascinated by the book that I hired the author. Right? Mm -hmm. So now I don't have a lot of time to like go through the video courses or to do the eBooks and the program. So I'll hire the course. Right? But in the beginning, if you don't have a lot of money, you have a lot of time. Then you can watch hour long webinars. You could go through free challenges. You go into Facebook groups, listen to podcasts. So it all depends on which, which side of you are. Obviously, it's great to have a full spectrum of information. Totally. But the more successful you become, the less time you have, the more you could reinvest in yourself. Yeah, so important. And events too, like yours. <laughs> yes, yeah. Like I said, I love all different types of learning. But obviously, I think the, the highest level of learning is immersion, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it, even with us, we actually teamed up to do a seminar here in my house. And the biggest thing is that we could coach people six, seven, eight weeks from a distance. Virtual coaching is phenomenal. It allows you to connect with people on a deep level. However, when you're in someone's physical presence, even for a few hours, there's so many transformations that occur. And I think there's a power in the in-person, especially having an online business and having an in-person component with it. Yeah, super, super powerful. So, what what are like the some some main things that people should be really focusing on to take their business and their income to the next level and be consistent you know, with i think that i could talk for days just about strategy and tactics but i've been thinking about this a lot right because i've been in business for a little over 12 years now and i often get that question it's like how do i get to six figures? How do I become a self-made millionaire? You know, mm -hmm. and I can get into all the tactics and the strategies, the books and the mindsets and the coaches and the masterminds and the seminars. However, I like simplicity and I like frameworks, right? If I go back into the 12 years and I realize what are two things I did consistently to get me from zero poor welfare to becoming a self-made millionaire and living my dream life, it is doing these two things on a daily basis. And if you do these two things, you are going to become successful. You're going to change a lot of lives and make a lot of money. Do you want to know what these two things are? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's really simple because people that make a lot of money add a lot of value. One of my favorite business philosophers, Jim Rohn, RIP, passed away, but he really influenced me. He says that you make money in correlation to the value you add to the marketplace. The more value that you add, 
the more money that you make. If you want to make more money, become more valuable, invest in yourself, improve your skill sets, your marketing, your sales, your delivery. But most importantly, if you're creating amazing content, you're putting out great value into this world, people know, like, and trust you. You are making their life better. You're helping them. And in turn, they want to hire you to help them on a deeper level. So the daily act of creating value, high quality content posts, blogs, emails, text will never go away. People will always be reading, even if it's small characters. Writing is a great skill to create content on a mass level. Number two is audio, okay? Right now we're doing a podcast. This audio is easier for people to drive around in, to listen to. Most people list, are listening to this, taking a dump. You know what I mean? They're doing all types of crazy things. <laughs> having sex listening to this podcast. You never know, you know? But it's a piece of content where you could literally do something subconsciously and listen to it in the background. You know, I hope they're not having sex. Listen, <laughs> maybe some Marvin Gaye or something better, you know? But the point I'm saying, you could passively do stuff and listen to it. And that's why audio is solid. If you have a structure of audio, we both have podcasts, put out audio content. This is a great way of adding value to people's lives, especially with our smartphones, having all these podcasting equipment. And the third and most important, in my personal opinion, is video, right? Mm -hmm. Video yeah. content, oh. because people want to connect with you. Unfortunately, we can't be in a million different countries at once. The video allows people to know, like, and trust you. They see your mannerisms. They see your face, your, your quirkiness, your emotion, and they connect with you on a far deeper level. Especially now, there's a lot of studies that say that video kind of makes people feel like, you're, like you're, you're a TV celebrity. If they're watching your videos on social media and YouTube, it's like they're watching television. So subconsciously, your position goes a lot higher just from them watching you. And there was actually a study that said on Facebook by the year 2020, 95% of the content will be video on Facebook. Wow. On Instagram, because Instagram is owned by Facebook. So video content is going to be pushed like crazy, especially now with the live videos. And like I said, most people, uh, they watch the videos on their mobile phones, you know? So the great thing about video that I like the most, adding value through video, is the fact that you can repurpose it, right? So mm -hmm. we're doing this uh, video podcast. We turn to audio. And then we turn to text, we transcribe it. So video, you can strip it in three different ways and add a ton of value from one piece of content. And that's why early on, my mentor said, you guys just start doing videos. So from 2007, I did about a thousand videos, like wow. over, the, you know, over the past 11 years. And uh, that's why I'm so natural on camera. But the first video was horrible. I stuttered. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my YouTube, you go look back on it, man. I, I, I was messing up, I had to do like a hundred takes. I literally had to take a shot of vodka to complete the video because I was up for oh one. Oh my God. <laughs> trying to finish this damn three minute video. I kept on stuttering and messing up. But no one is great at video. You look at anyone's videos, even the best of the best, they sucked in the beginning mm -hmm. and they get better over time. So that's one part of the equation, adding massive value, helping people, creating great content, audio, video, and text. And the second part, this is the part where most people mess up and that is creating offers right because we all know people that have these huge followings a million instagram million youtube million facebook they're putting out great content but they are broke as hell because mm -hmm. they're not selling to their audience so a great way to think about it is gary vanyarchuk's philosophy jab 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 right hook mm -hmm. i like to do nine free content pieces and then one sales piece so let's say if i'm doing 10 videos Nine of those videos are just value, helping, giving, and then I'll just sell on a 10th one, a hard pitch. Another way you could do it is do a soft pitch, right? This is something you're really good at. You put out great content and you say, hey, click on the first link in the bio, like this post. You're doing small offers. And offers are not always selling. Sometimes it's getting people to your group. It's getting people to your email list. It's getting them to take a specific action. And if you get people to take small actions, like this post, leave a comment, send me a direct message. Then you get them to take bigger actions. Go to this website, go to this shopping cart, hop on the phone with me, buy my program. So the more you train your followers to take small actions, the more you could get them to do bigger actions, which is invest in you to transform their life. Yeah. 
So to sum it all up, if someone's kind of like confused and <laughs> I don't know what type of funnel, how, how do I create Facebook ads? If you literally just think about in a 24 hour period, how can I add massive value and start making offers, simple call to actions to get my audience to get off their ass and do something, then you'll persuade them, you'll influence them and you'll inspire them to take action. Yeah, it's like a great, great advice, great tips. <laughs> it's, it's like it's just the more value you give, the more money you make. Simple but it's that. like that two part process of giving value, but actually offering something and getting the F on video. <laughs> so many people are so resistant around that. And so. Yeah, yeah, I always think about myself. Like when I, um, I started for the first three years of my life and I didn't go into all this, but you know, I had a serious addiction issue with drugs, cocaine, crystal meth, painkillers, Xanax, alcohol, not, not just individually, I would take them all at once. I had a lot of issues when I was very young and this screwed me up. I was 60 pounds overweight. I was self-abusing, had a lot of overdoses. And I realized a lot of that stemmed from me. Obviously, I had a, I had a tough childhood, came from an abusive household. We were very poor. We were this you know, family of immigrants. So there was like the melding between the two cultures that never really fit in. But I realized that I had this big fear of what others thought about me because I started mm -hmm. for the first 20 years of my life and I was very insecure. And I realized that in order for me to be successful, my desire to help people had to overpower the fear of what other people thought about me. Mm -hmm. So when I was unsuccessful and I was very, I guess, invisible to the marketplace, I cared more about what people thought about me and less about helping people. And when I became profitable and I started impacting lives, I started caring more about helping people and showing up in a more powerful way and caring less about what they thought about me. So powerful. And I feel like a lot of people get in their heads and it's, it's really all about getting out of your head and into your heart so you can serve at a higher level. Exactly, exactly. You know, we always say, uh, don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> you are made for greatness to make a massive impact in this world. It's not about you. It's all about serving and giving and caring because most of the time when we do suffer, we get upset. We are in our head. Like our boy Twin Robin says, when you're in your head, you're dead. So you're focusing on getting out of your head and serving and giving, right? Because if you're anxious, my mentor always said, action alleviates anxiety. So when you're anxious, that's a great time. You're triggered by something, lean into it and record a video and share vulnerably what's going on with you and do it in an inspirational way where you're not just venting and you're bitching and moaning, but you're saying this is how I'm feeling right now. And you might see me as a coach or a mentor, but I have bad days and I know that this too shall pass. And I want to let you know that I'm human just like you. Oh my, that one video of you being honest and vulnerable and truthful will do more for your business than you having the 10 tips to improve your life, to make more money, to have better sex, all that stuff because we're drowning in information but lacking in transformation. So it's really just about being in a place where you're honest, right? And I put this quote on my Facebook the other day. It's like, don't get upset about what you see on social media because people are not sharing their failures mm. and think about that everyone's social media is a highlight reel right i <laughs> my videos today i'm at a lamborghini dealership and i'm looking <laughs> at lamborghinis you know so obviously i'm showing the cool things in my life i'm not showing oh my god i got this horrible thing that i'm scared of and i'm insecure about but i'm learning that the more i talk about the things i'm insecure about the things i fear my losses right because it's cool to talk about buying a lamborghini but it's also cool to say you know what I launched this program and it failed miserably. No one bought it, but is that going to make me quit my business? Am I going to say, oh, I'm not made to be an entrepreneur because this program failed? No, I accept it because I know that nine out of the 10 things that I launch are going to fail. And it's been like that because I wouldn't have made it to 10 years of entrepreneurship, but the one that works out makes up for all those failures. So I keep on doing things and I keep failing forward because I know that success is on the other side. That's so powerful. Like just like moving through fear and doing it anyway and continuing to go and, and know that you're going to learn so much along the way and, and, and take those lessons with you and just let it make you stronger in your purpose is awesome.
Exactly, exactly. Because consistency will always take you to the next level. And if you're always thinking about, okay, I'm going to create this video, but I need to make money off it. I better go viral. I better become a millionaire. Or else mm-hmm. this entrepreneur thing is not for me. Then, well, hey, better off getting a job because it doesn't work that way. If it worked that way, man, everyone would be millionaires with six pack abs, beautiful families, right? Most things fail. Most diets fail. Most marketing campaigns fail. Most products fail. But it's the ones who persist and know that nine out of 10 things are going to fail. But the one thing that takes off the 10% that actually works is what makes you successful. Yeah, totally. And you've been making like a massive impact helping so many people get their stuff out into the world. It's just amazing. Like it really is because it's like you're creating this ripple effect by helping other entrepreneurs. And I think it's so amazing what you're doing and um, like everything you're all about. I appreciate it. It means a lot. You know, I I calculated the other day because I've been in business for 12 years and I I think about just like the amount of people that I helped through my personal training when I was training one-on-one, then I went to group training, then I created online programs to start doing online coaching. Then I started developing courses. Then I started doing seminars, which is like my my next big endeavor, hosting live events, helping one to many. Is I calculated that now I'm I'm actually in the thousands of people that I've helped, you know? Mm -hmm. So like right now I can literally die in peace and be like, you know what? I live my life to the fullest because if I could help over a thousand people in just my lifetime, then I've won, right? That's all that matters because at the end of the day, the money comes and goes, right? I'm living my dream house right now. It's phenomenal to live in this amazing mansion, but it's not promised. God forbid I could lose my business or have a illness that could be taken away from me. My bank account could be completely taken away, all these material things. But at the end of the day, no one is remembered for the size of their house or the material items or how much money they made. But it's, it's about all the love that they shared along the way, you know? And I know that I've shared a lot of love because I really focus on helping people. I transformed a lot of lives. I have so many people that I've genuinely helped lose weight, make more money, become happier, have more fulfillment. And to me, that's the best currency, you know, service and transforming lives. That's better than any amount of money you could make. Yeah. So fulfilling. It's like, so like priceless, like that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, that's what keeps you going as you know, right? Like, um, you want to do this for decades and the money's not going to inspire you because after you make a lot of money, you realize that it ain't all there is you know, but helping people that never gets old. Like I never, ever, I, Oh my God, I have so many transformations or this person made a testimonial video. Okay. You know, man, these things, I I literally have a testimonials page on my website. And whenever I feel down, I just watch those videos (laughs) and it brings me back up, you Mm -hmm. know, because I think it was Jim Carrey. who said, you know, I really hope that everyone becomes rich and famous only to find out that it doesn't really even matter, you know? So, mm. I mean, I had to become a millionaire for being this poor kid, but after becoming a millionaire, it, it didn't make me that much happier than helping someone lose 100 pounds, helping someone break their first $10,000 a month of business, helping someone buy an apartment for their family. My client, Tyler, bought a, a car for his father, you know? Mm. These things are powerful. These things are priceless, and it's coming from a place of love and service. I think that's so powerful. And speaking of live events, <laughs> you have your seminar coming up. We got our event coming up. Do you want to like dive into that a little more? I would love for everyone to learn more about it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one of my dreams of becoming a self-made millionaire and having a successful business as a young age was to do seminars because I remember as a young kid, I see these like, you know, charismatic people on infomercials and on videos and how they have so much confidence because I stuttered and they were like helping people and serving them. So I always wanted to do seminars. And then I had a dream of buying my dream house, which I did two years on this day, actually. Really? Two years ago. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> yeah. I posted on video, you know, they do the memories and stuff like that. Cause I uh-huh. moved into this amazing 10 bedroom dream house just so I could do seminars and retreats on my house. Mm. So I've been hosting events every two months here 
and we have an event actually in a week, right? I partner up with really cool people. We have our audiences come in, we transform lives. And my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do is to help people in person, doing seminars, doing retreats, doing live events. And my masterpiece seminar is the online super coach seminar. I do this twice a year in April and October. So actually October 12th and 13th, I'm doing my super coach seminar. This I do in a Queens, New York. It's actually a seminar room, two day event. And I got a lot of guest speakers there. The premise of it is to help people build their dream online coaching business. Now I've taken all my years of experience learning how to market online, how to sell your services and how to leverage your skills using technology and systems. And what I've done was I created this course. It's actually a 12 week course that goes through all the different systems, finding your target market, attracting your ideal clients, selling a high quality program at a high ticket and delivering through a virtual infrastructure. But instead of helping someone over 12 weeks, I've condensed it into a two day program mm. and it helps to set up all the systems in house. And it's really teaching you the strategies over two days, how to develop your dream six figure online coaching business. And the cool thing about this event is I have a lot of guest speakers. There are a lot of big names in the industry that are six and seven figure online coaches. And essentially they're sharing what happened to give them the success, what they did, showing their marketing campaigns, showing their sales processes, showing how they deliver their coaching. And it's, it's, it's great because there's a wide variety of people, fitness coaches, life coaches, dating coaches, even sex coaches, hmm. you know, they all come together, but it's how to develop your dream online coaching business and then in-house we set up all the systems. So this 12th and 13th of October is going down in Queens, New York, and it's literally 10 minutes away from both the airports and also the hotel that we're having it at. They have a special deal for the seminar guests. It's almost nothing because most people say, oh, if I travel to New York, it is so much money. No, it's actually dirt cheap because mm. for this two event, what you get out of it and the low cost of the hotel and the, and, and, and the transit around the area, it is a win-win. Yeah. That's awesome. So where can people find out about it? <laughs> well, I could send you to my website, which is onlinesupercoach.com forward slash live. But what I want to do for the listeners of this podcast is to offer something very, very special that I do once in a while because I love to give and I love to serve. So for the first five people that are listening to this podcast right now, if you send me an email with the subject line podcast family, I will give you a free VIP ticket to my two day seminar. This is valued at $597. And as a bonus, I'll give you a 12 week course that is called how to get 40 new clients in 14 days. So, Right now I'm gonna be you a ward because you are an action taker. You've listened this far, so I'm gonna hook you up. But again, it's the first five. So if you're driving, you're- <laughs> Pull <laughs> over. <laughs> chopping onions, whatever you're doing, <laughs> stop what you're doing. Send me an email, which is aj at onlinesupercoach.com with the subject line, podcast family, and I'll give you a free VIP ticket worth $597. And if you want to know about the logistics of the seminar, the seminar page with all the guest speakers and the FAQ, which gives you the hotel information, the location, the airports, all that stuff. So first and foremost, before you get the free ticket, make sure that you can make it. It's a Friday and Saturday and you can fly in. Cause obviously I can't pay for all your tickets and all that stuff, <laughs> but I'll pay for your admission to the seminar online. Super coach.com forward slash live. That's the event page. Step number two, send me an email. AJ at online super coach.com podcast family, because I want to hook you up. If you're the first five people that responds to this message. And if you are, if there's space, I will give you a free ticket. Wow. That's like really freaking awesome of you to do. Thank you. You guys got to freaking jump on this. That's like amazing. Thank you so much for, for doing for offering that. That's awesome. It sounds like a really transformative 
event that everyone who is trying to grow their online business needs to be at. And uh, I really appreciate you for sharing so much value and, and advice and tips on this. So thank you so much. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we wrap it up? Yeah, it's just the simplicity of I want to lead by example. I'm going to talk about adding value, giving, serving. And of course, I want to give. I want to give, give back, right? Because I'm giving away five tickets valued at $600. So it's like $3,000 of money that I can make for this seminar that I want to give back to the world because I know it will always come back to me. It's not that I give with expectation, but I know the more I give, the more I make the world a better place. So if you're listening to this right now, in one, email me for the seminar ticket. Number two, think about a way you could give back, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's putting out a great video. Put the video camera in front of your face, hit the record button, talk to it, just add value. Like Stephanie said, let your heart speak, help someone, give someone some free advice. Go on your social media and say, hey, I'm gonna help some people out today. Send me a message, leave a comment below. What's the biggest thing you're struggling with? Just help people serve. You have amazing gifts. You could transform lives. The more you give, the more you make a world a better place. So I'm all about giving and that's why I wanna set the example by getting people to my seminar, transforming lives at no cost at all. Then I wanna inspire you to find a way to give back to the world. Yeah, wow. So true. Give, give, give from your heart. So awesome. Thank you so much, AJ. It was amazing having you on here. And I'm looking forward to our event as well. And can't wait to really just share so much with everyone and, and do some awesome stuff. So thank you. And yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. And I love transforming lives. So it's so cool to see what you're doing in this world and the impact you have on so many individuals and inspires me to become a better man. Thank you.